in the quiet town of Fall River, Massachusetts, August 4, 1892, started as any other day. Yet, as the morning sun gave way to the afternoon's shadow, a chilling discovery was made. Andrew and Abby Borden, respected members of the community, were found in their home, their lives brutally extinguished. The weapon of choice, a simple household hatchet. But this was no ordinary crime. The savagery of the attack, with both victims suffering multiple blows to the head, spoke volumes about the killer's intent. As the news of the murders spread, suspicion fell on one person, the Borden's younger daughter, Lizzie. Lizzie Andrew Borden, born in the summer of 1860, was known for her religious upbringing and involvement in church activities. Raised in Fall River, Massachusetts, Lizzie was the daughter of Andrew Borden, a successful businessman known for his strict, frugal manner. Despite his wealth, Andrew maintained a thrifty lifestyle, causing tension between him and his two daughters, Lizzie and Emma. Lizzie's relationship with her stepmother, Abby, was particularly strained. Abby had entered the family after the death of Lizzie's mother, and tensions mounted over the years, particularly over property transfers. Andrew's decision to gift real estate to members of Abby's family caused a rift with his daughters, who felt their inheritance was being compromised. Alongside these familial tensions, there were other unsettling events in the Borden household. In the days leading up to the murders, the family fell ill, suspected to be a case of food poisoning. At the same time, Lizzie faced personal conflicts, particularly over the killing of her beloved pigeons. On the day of the murders, Lizzie's behavior was far from normal. She provided the police with conflicting statements, and her actions were peculiar. The brutal murder of her father and stepmother, the strange circumstances, and Lizzie's odd demeanor combined to cast a shadow of suspicion over her. The enigma of Lizzie Borden took a decisive turn when she was arrested on August 11, 1892. Lizzie's trial in 1893 was a spectacle that gripped the nation's attention. It was the trial of the century, an event drenched in speculation, rumor, and intrigue. The evidence against Lizzie was at best circumstantial. The hatchet, the alleged murder weapon, was indeed discovered, but it had been conveniently cleaned of any incriminating evidence. No bloodstained clothing was found, which cast doubt on the prosecution's case. The absence of any concrete physical evidence was a significant hurdle for the prosecution to overcome. But still, Lizzie's strange behavior and contradictory statements to the police in the aftermath of the murders raised eyebrows. The tension within the family over property transfers and her strained relationship with her stepmother, Abby, all painted an unflattering picture of Lizzie making her a prime suspect. Despite the cloud of suspicion hanging over her, the jury returned a verdict of not guilty. The lack of evidence was enough to sway their decision, and Lizzie walked free. The trial, as sensational as it was, ended in acquittal, leaving the public in stunned disbelief. In the aftermath of the trial, Lizzie and her sister Emma lived together. But the strain of the trial and the public scrutiny eventually drove them apart. The sisters separated, each living out their remaining years in solitude. Lizzie Borden lived out the rest of her days in Fall River, dying in 1927 with the mystery of the Borden murders still unsolved. Over a century later, the Lizzie Borden case continues to intrigue true crime enthusiasts and scholars alike. The enigmatic narrative that unfolded in the late 19th century remains shrouded in mystery, with as many questions as answers. Various theories have emerged over the years, some implicating the housemaid, others suggesting that Lizzie might have been suffering from seizures. Yet, none provide a definitive solution. The murder weapon was found, but it was cleaned of any evidence, and no blood-stained clothing was ever discovered. The chilling tale of Lizzie Borden remains one of America's most infamous unsolved crimes, a mystery that continues to captivate and confound us to this day.